Local historians have long held that this area just outside the Kingsbridge burial ground was used as a burial place for enslaved Africans. This follows a pattern seen elsewhere in which enslaved people were interred in burial grounds adjacent to cemeteries for white colonists. It is likely that adults were not the only ones buried here. A site study at the African burial ground in Lower Manhattan revealed that nearly half of the burials were of children under the age of 12. Fearing rebellion, New York's colonial legislature banned gatherings of black people numbering more than a few individuals. However, an exception was granted for funerals. Therefore, this could have been one of the few places in the area that the black community could come together lawfully. In the 1870s, construction workers unearthed skeletons in this area while working on the New York and Northern Railroad. According to an 1879 Yonker Statesman newspaper article, a local man, Caleb Van Tassel, recalled making a coffin for a slave that was buried here. Writing in a memoir, another area resident recalled that a great number of skeletons of former slaves were unearthed during the railroad construction. It was not reported what happened to the skeletons after they were disinterred. The railroad track bed is now the Putnam Greenway of today.